So you're going to high school, you're growing up uh, mm-hmm. in the States. And, and this is actually an interesting part about your history that I didn't know until I started to really research it, is yeah. you actually used to run with the shower posse. Yeah, uh, that was my, <laughs> I was a teenager then. I didn't know no better, man. And I used to get like, when dudes talk about gangster, I'm like, you don't know gangster. Like the shit I, I, I was seeing in high school and what the crew was doing was crazy. I mean, cause if you know the history of that, it went from from New York to Texas, to, to, to Miami, to Jamaica. It was just like the whole Eastern seaboard, you know? And a lot of the members uh, recently just got out of jail. So I've run into some of them in Jamaica and stuff. So it's been cool, you know, seeing them. Cause now they're like, cause I was a little kid of the crew. So everybody's like now like, wow, you know, grew up, you know, became somebody famous, you know? Meanwhile, the rest of them did a lot of time. A lot of the guys got like 25, 35 years and stuff. You know, thank God I didn't, I didn't get indicted and all of that stuff, so. Well, the Shower Posse is a very notorious crew. I mean, I would yeah. say that's the most famous Jamaican gang, you know, in terms yeah, of no, we visibility were. We were. And, and the media and so forth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, and they were like, like international. They were in Jamaica, they were in Toronto, they were yeah. in the US. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was crazy. Like, how'd you even get mixed up with the Shower Posse? Uh, actually it was just, they were, they were friends of a friend and, you know, they just used to all, we, we used to all just hang out because, you know, we had that, that one thing in common. We we're all from Jamaica and we all used to go to the same restaurant. And next thing you know, I just started, you know, they needed the connection to this person or that person. And I, you know, and then that's how you just, you kind of get swept up in it. But back then you didn't really, we didn't think of us as what it is known today. You know, we just thought we were just a, just a bunch of guys hanging out, making money. And then how the extension of it went crazy. So, you know, uh, I was able to get out of it before, like, you know, when I graduated high school, I was like, yo, uh, you know, I went back to New York City and then was on my pursuit of, you know, of celebrity stardom. And that's how I got out of it. But at that time, you know, when I was leaving, a lot of the guys were getting indicted, pulled in, and, you know, uh, we had somebody uh, in the group that was a snitch, and, you know, he definitely, it was it was funny when he came around because we all kind of knew something wasn't right. You know, he was asking way too many questions, you know. It was straight out of a movie. So, you know, if you, you got any brains and intelligence, you pick up on shit like that. So then you'd be like, all right, something ain't right with this guy. Let's walk away from him, you know. And, you know, he came to me at least three times asking me all kinds of questions. And I just was like, and I felt like the second time I knew he was, I knew he was wearing a wire. So it was, Mm. you know, I'm working on a book now that, you know, I might put a little bit of that in there. So, you know, it was definitely a life like no other. Yeah. 